In this video, we're going to be checking out one of the most famous amps in doom metal music, the Laney AOR50. So today we're going to demo the amp, play some riffs, check out the tone stack. But before we get started, drop a comment below if you've got a favorite musician or band that uses a Laney AOR, or if you use one, drop a link so we can hear what it sounds like in a mix. And don't forget to subscribe to the Fuzzlord FX YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the weekly Doom-related videos that we put out. Right now we're running a white noise test signal into the input of the Laney AOR. And we've got a spectrum analyzer pulled up showing us its frequency response. So right now all the tone controls and the presence controls are all set to noon and the amp is set clean. Starting with the bass control, if we roll it back, it starts to cut off frequencies below about 400 hertz. If we roll it up from noon, it boosts frequencies at about the same cutoff, 0.400 Hz. There's also push-pull pots on the tone controls of these Laney AORs. If we pull it, see we get a really big boost and it just makes that EQ control a lot more powerful. The mid control is centered at about 4.5K and controls a pretty wide range creeping up into the treble. It also has the push-pull pot. I'm going to turn the mids and the bass down so we can check out the treble a little bit better. Looks like we're controlling about 5k and up with the treble pot. I don't have the push-pull pot on this one. I repaired this amp and I didn't have that pot available. So this one is just a standard treble control. We don't have the boost on it. Checking out the presence control, we get a nice top-end boost. Centered about 5k. 
Nothing too drastic, but it definitely adds a lot to the sound. In this next riff, I'm tuned to B standard, playing some Monolord, and I'll be using the Fuzzlord FX FU2 pedal. So even though the Lanny AOR is a high gain amp, I think it does clean tones really well. In this next clip, we're plugged into the low input on the amp. The AOR channel is not engaged, and I got all the knobs set right about noon. I'm playing a PVT-60 tuned to A standard with a Fuzzlord Darkmaster. So now that we've heard the amp by itself, let's go ahead and hear it in a mix. All of the guitars are using the distortion from the AOR, AOR channel engaged. Uh, the bass I recorded through the AOR also, but I'm using a green Russian Big Muff. That was a closer look at the Laney AOR50. Drop a comment below. I'm curious to know what you think of this amp, if you've ever owned one or if you know a band that uses them. If you can find a deal on these amps, they're really great. These amps have become a lot more collectible and popular now and the prices have gone up, but 
a few years back, you used to be able to get these amps at a lot more reasonable price, which is why people were buying them. So they have really good distortion tone built into the amp. They also got a nice amount of headroom if you want to play clean. It also has an effects loop, which is really helpful. You can just plug a preamp pedal into the effects return and use just the power amp. Uh, you can use your reverb and delay pedals in the effects loop. It's a more modern effects loop with op amps. So it's a really good amp all around if you can get a good deal on them. These amps are getting a little bit older now, so if you do get one, you'll probably want to take it to a tech and, and get all the electrolytic caps replaced because those are only ready to last about 20, 25 years. So it's getting about time to replace that stuff. I'm Jason from Fuzzler Effects. I really appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to drop a comment below. I'm always curious to know where you're watching from, and don't forget to subscribe. I forget which side's on. I want to give a big thank you to all of the Patreon supporters that help make this channel possible. These are all the folks that support the YouTube channel through our Patreon page, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to know more about supporting this channel, there's a link to the Patreon page in the description. And something fun we've been doing there is a monthly Q&A. So I've been answering guitar pedal related questions, guitars, amps, music. Uh, personal stuff, just whatever people want to ask about. So it's a really good place for me to be able to help more and answer specific questions about pedals and amps and gear and recording and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to know more about that, there's a link in the description. I also want to give a big thank you to our producer supporter, Veyu Slavic, as well as Illuminati Guitars, Dunnable Guitars, Eastwood Guitars, and Obscura MFG. I really appreciate you watching. I'm Jason from Fuzzler Effects, and I'll talk to you in the comments, and I'll see you in next week's video.